St. Peter and St. Paul's Church stands in the middle of Great Bowdoin Village, on the edge of Market Harbour. The oldest parts of the fabric date from the second half of the 13th century. It contains some original roof timbers and on its north wall the remains of a large fresco representing the Last Judgment, which was probably painted in the 15th century. The building is 13th century in origin, evidence for which is the South Chancel Arcade and Piscina and Blocked Priest's Doorway. The nave had at least a south aisle by 1300, evidence for which is one surviving window. The tower was added in the 4th century, by which time the present plan of the church was probably established. Nave and aisles were rebuilt and heightened in the 15th century. The south porch was built in the 18th century, and the north porch in 1790, along with a gallery and new box pews. The church was restored at a cost of £2,229 in 1886-87 by W. Talbot Brown and Fisher, architects of Wellingborough, and the contractor was W. and J. H. Martin of Market Harbour. Windows were restored, a new chancel arch was built, new tracery was designed for the east window, and roofs were rebuilt. The gallery was removed, and box pews were cut down to make the present benches. The Church of St. Peter and St. Paul, Great Bowdoin, is designated at Grade I for the following principal reasons. It is a substantially complete medieval church of the 13th to 5th century, especially notable for its 13th and 15th century arcades and 14th century tower, well restored in the 19th century. It has a late medieval doom painting, a type universal in pre-Reformation churches but which is now an extremely rare survival. It also has other features of special interest, including the organ case and font cover from the 17th century, medieval brass, and another fragment of medieval wall painting. I really do hope that you have enjoyed this aerial presentation. Please subscribe to the channel so that we can keep you updated on other aerial videos shot in and around Northamptonshire and further afield. Subscribing is free and it really helps the channel to grow.